welcome back to the channel everyone uh, my name is Naufal Khan and I am an international student here in Leicester United Kingdom and I am studying a masters in engineering management in University of Leicester in this video I will be showing you around uh, my campus my university campus and uh, what all buildings are there uh, what are the amenities and different uh, departments that we have so i will show you guys that university is adjacent to victoria park i am walking through victoria park now and the other side of the university is the university road and it has the main entrance uh, where cars and vehicles can come in and go out uh, i will show you the main entrance later on in the video um, i will be going in through the victoria park uh, entrance of the university so the university has an open campus so anybody can come in and uh, go through the university and come in and visit so as soon as we reach near uh, the campus we can see these three uh, buildings tall buildings so uh, that is the attenborough building and uh, that is the charles wilson building and there you can see the uh, engineering building so that is the victoria park So we are officially in the campus right now. This small building here is called the College House. Uh, this used to be the home of the Attenborough family. So Richard Attenborough and David Attenborough. Richard Attenborough was an English actor and a film director. Uh, do you guys remember in uh, Jurassic Park 1993 first film, the uh, grandpa with the stick who says, Welcome to Jurassic Park. My dear Dr. Sattler, welcome to Jurassic Park. That is Richard Attenborough. So his family used to stay here. So that is uh, David Attenborough and I think that is Richard, I am not sure. So he is uh, like a TV broadcaster uh, in the UK. He has uh, many different shows related to nature like uh, Planet Earth, A Life on Our Earth etc. He is also a biologist and an author. So his family, their family used to live in here. If we go uh, along this way, we can see the engineering building. It's a really good architecture in the university. So this building uh, has offices and, uh, and labs which are part of the engineering department. I'll try to show you the ground floor if it is open. So that is the uh, David Wilson Library. This is like the main library of the uh, University of Leicester campus. It is now 24-7 open. So that is the Leicester Law School. This is a different building. It's called the Fielding Johnson Building. And I'll show you that uh, later. That is the informatics uh, building. That is the main entrance to the Attenborough building. All the setup is for the graduation ceremony, I think. I can make a separate video uh, to show the inside of the library, uh, all the amenities and the rooms that, uh, in, that are inside the library if you guys want. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you want me to make that video and I'll definitely make that. 
so i am now sitting in centenary square so uh, that is the centenary square right now uh, they have some temporary uh, building something uh, they have uh, arranged i don't know why because of the graduation ceremony i think so the centenary square name comes from the 100 year anniversary Uh, so the university of leicester was founded in 1921 and last year 2021 was the 100 year anniversary so they named this uh, square the centenary square and uh, there is like a huge 100100 uh, thing on the other side i'll show you if i can that is the campus map and uh, we are currently here and now i will be going towards there charles wilson physics uh, building and uh, bennett building so that is the charles wilson building it has basically like a sports hall where you can play badminton basketball and other indoor sports and also some of the offices are also here and if we walk through that way here we also have a santander cycle docking station so here we can take cycles and come back inside the uni and keep it here so this is the physics building here we have uh, it's like a long building and here we have bennett building this is like basically like main building for uh, geology geography and uh, environment departments so that's the bennett building here and moving on so that building there is a ratray lecture theater and i used to have my first mem uh, lectures here in this lecture theater it is like a fairly big lecture theater so that is the george porter building it is the main building for the chemistry department and across the opposite side we have the archaeology and ancient history building
so that road you just saw is the university road uh, and it, this is the main entrance basically for the university the, like i told you vehicles can come in and go out so i'll show you the that part also now and that is the university road as you walk in through the main university entrance you will see the o2 academy this is like the uh, main uh, party slash concert hall here in uh, university so they conduct parties and all uh, usually so this is on the uh, back side of the Percy G building so Percy G building uh, is not the main entrance of the Percy G building it is on the other side I'm not sure whether this is the main entrance or the uh, the, the other side is the main entrance so so this is the Percy G building this building uh, basically has the student union offices places where you can eat and drink uh, also some information offices are also here where you can go in and talk to people from the university It's very hot here, it's 29 degrees but it's sunny and hot, I'm wearing like two layers of sunscreen, it's very hot, I'm, I'm sweating, okay. Now I'll go down and show you all the remaining buildings. the Percy G building I'm guessing that this is the back entrance because there is no like a name board sign here it was on the other side so I'm guessing that is the main entrance and this is the back side entrance so here in the ground floor we have uh, different uh, cafes and all where you get pizzas and chicken and uh, uh, french fries bubble tea and there is also a starbucks in there and on the first floor there are student union offices and the second floor uh, there are careers well-being library and information and other stuff so in the third floor there are multi-use spaces student media and consultation rooms and also basically like an office kind of an area without any lecture theatres or anything and uh, where you can chill so this is the centenary square I was talking about if you take this uh, thing off it will be like a, a big square and there used to be this 100 sign 100 sign here but they removed it I don't know So that is like a van kind of a cafe which will be open during uh, uh, class hours and all so you can have a coffee or snack or something from there. If you walk through this way. So this is the 
this is the Ken Edwards building. I don't know what this building uh, Ken Edwards has. It has some lecture theatres, I know that. And uh, if we go through this way, this building here is the Fielding Johnson building. It is like the it is like the central building of the whole campus. It has administration offices and lecture theatres and everything. So this is like the main building of the campus. And here, opposite to that, we have like a lawn area. So this is like a lawn area with lots of benches and everything and it has uh, these flexes congratulations graduates and all so i think it, this will be a nice spot when you're uh, graduating and you want to take some pictures and all this will be like a really good spot and there are some trees and all around it and this sculpture here is nice As I told you earlier, the university was founded in 1921. That's what's uh, written there and 100 years of change to 2021. So that is the centenary celebration flex boards, I guess. And here we have the photo of the first ever class that is in 1922 summer so that is the first batch of graduates from university of leicester so new people who are coming in september or january i think uh, you can come in here during the freshers day and there will be people inside and they'll give you a campus tour like show you around all the buildings and all the places and lecture theaters and everything This is the Athsley Clark building. This is School of Media, Communication and Sociology building. And if we walk through that way. Now we are on the back side of the Fielding Johnson building. So we have another entrance here where cars can come in through and there is a big parking there and that is the back side of Fielding Johnson building and finally here we have the Daniel Brown Sports Center so there are like uh, gym sauna spa swimming pool and all in there and it is 150 pounds for one year for students for a gold membership which will give you access to all of the amenities inside that is the fielding johnson building south wing So from here, a different uh, college starts. It's the WQE Wigeston and Queen Elizabeth uh, One College. So it's like a different building, that one and the remaining buildings there. So that is the main campus, guys. There are other small campuses around the main campus. One of them is uh, SBB building, which is like a two minute walk from this exit. So if you walk through that way on the left of that road, you will reach the SBB building in two minutes. And then there is a Brookfield campus, which is like the main campus for School of Businesses. And it is like a 15 minute walk from the main campus centenary square. So uh, that is all for this video, guys. So I think I've covered almost all of the uh, campus. If you guys want me to make a video showing the inside of the David Wilson Library, I'll definitely make it. Please let me know in the comment section. And uh, thank you guys for clicking on this video. And uh, 
if you found this video helpful and entertaining please like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel it'll be really helpful that's all for this video thank you so much for watching see you in another video bye